Howdy folks, Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner Outdoors and this is the Minnelli Field model and um, a while back, but I never got to it, I'm very sorry, but a while back I had some requests to do a video on shotguns and chokes, so we're empty. To remove a shotgun choke First of all, you keep it away from your face, but they just screw out like that. So, I'm going to set that off to the side here and talk to you about chokes. Now, the Italian chokes, the Benelli's, they pattern very, very tight. This choke here is a modified. The, the Benelli's, at least the Nova's, came with three chokes. And the way that it goes is the chokes constrict the shot as it exits the barrel. So, and the more constriction is on the shot when it exits the barrel, the tighter the pattern. So, a cylinder bore is what is in my Benelli Nova Tactical. That is a straight shot and it's just spray out of the barrel. Next on the line from cylinder is improved cylinder which is where there's just a little bit of constriction. And then next up is from improved cylinder is modified. Modified is the choke that I like to use um, while I'm hunting um, because it holds a tighter pattern but it still gives me some leeway. So modified is higher up than that. Then there is improved modified which is one step below the full choke. The full choke is a the last standard constriction of the shot before you get into extra full uh, turkey full or dead coyote and so I'm just going to talk to you about the three chokes that came with the Benelli as well as some aftermarket chokes when I'm shooting skeet I like the improved cylinder. Now they do have skeet chokes as well but when I'm shooting skeet trap and I don't really care because it only takes a couple of pellets to break or a couple of shot pellets to break a clay bird then I'll use improved cylinder just enough to get me down range but still give me plenty of leeway. Then I will use when I'm hunting most of the time I will use a modified choke and I like that because I have plenty of pattern <clears throat> to deal with but also I have enough a tight enough pattern that I can aim at the front half of a squirrel so to speak. I can aim at the head of a squirrel in front of him and I'm not going to put shot throughout the entire body. Or I may end up um, shooting the full choke when I'm squirrel hunting. Um, modified is good for pheasants. Modified is good for rabbits. Um, some Now, also, what I want to cover, because I just thought of it, is it'll say on the chokes, whether or not they're okay for use with steel, lead, or heavy shot. Now the Benelli chokes that I got, improved cylinder and modified, are steel shot okay. You can use them for waterfowl. Full is not steel shot okay. And so, that's those. Now my aftermarket chokes are from Carlson. 
and I have a rifled choke so that if I end up getting a deer permit for uh, shotgun season because we don't have a rifle season in Illinois but this is a choke that has rifling in it that if I decide to slap a scope on that and I screw this choke in that it will stabilize my slug as it comes out the end of the barrel with a little bit more twist so now you can have a rifle choke in a smooth bore shotgun or this here is my dead coyote choke that is a heavy shot choke that holds an incredibly tight pattern eventually I need to go pattern this choke on camera for you guys and do a video on what different shot sizes do out of my gun and uh, show you some patterning of chokes to figure stuff out um, I did it with my tactical shotgun but I need to do it with my sporting shotgun as well so long story short cylinder is the widest pattern then improved cylinder then modified improved modified and full those are your stock shows and that's basically the understanding that you need to have um, I wouldn't even though I've heard it's okay I still wouldn't shoot a slug in a field shotgun through anything tighter than a modified uh, I wouldn't really feel comfortable doing that but it's all up to what your gun needs so I hope this video has been helpful and I'll have more coming at you as I get the chance. As always, God bless all my Ted Nietzsche and Blood Brothers. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you who served in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Scrap Your Outdoors.